What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going to a curiosity photo. It is from Sol2252. Now, some of the things in this photo have been blended so well, you almost don't even recognize, except for one piece. Kind of stands out. That's what caught my eye. Now, when you see this, you're going to be like, wow, these things must be huge. And guess what? They're not. Let me show you the photo we're talking about. You see right here, it's MSL Image, which is Mars Science Laboratory, which is Curiosity Rover, right? And you can see right here, it is NCAM, NAVCAM. So it's low on the deck here, which is just below the deck. So picture the deck being, you know, top here, bottom here. It's like right in the middle there, these NAVCAMs to help it obviously navigate. So as you're looking at this, you literally can stand right over your, your if you were standing right next to this right now, it would be somewhere around your waist. So you could literally walk over here and walk, just walk over here and just have a look at this stuff. These are not mountains like you, they want you to believe. And when you see the things in here, you're just going to go, wow, that is just weird. But they literally just kind of blended everything together so you don't see any individuality. But you can. So if you were to zoom into this, the first thing that catches your eye was this piece right here. Okay. But look at the lines in between. Very, very faint. And when you get over to this side, you'll see smaller ones, like little squares and stuff like that. Um, just, just weird stuff, man. Like over here on the right, just look at the way this thing over here on the right hand side looks like this kind of cave opening kind of thing, right? Is it a cave? Don't know. Now, what I want to show you is some objects in here that you can just go, wow, wh what could these things possibly be? The only conclusion you can come to is you may not know what these things are and all we're going to do is speculate with as to what they are, but clearly they're intelligently made period. And when you see this stuff, you'll definitely agree. All right. So let's get into that. Let's just back out of this here. Let's jump into Photoshop. Okay, here's the photo. This is how small it was. We enlarged it. This way we can zoom in without it breaking up too badly, but it is a very low resolution photo. I wonder why, right? This way here, you can't see anything of any value in here. And that's what these guys, this is their MO, man. They just want to hide stuff in here. Like right here, here's an individual part. Okay, what they do is they just kind of blend everything so you don't see anything, like I said, individuality or these little pieces, but they are in there. And I'm going to show you the lines in here as well as stuff that's actually in this photo. Now, it doesn't look like much. You would be looking at it like, oh, those cute little hills. Oh, look, there's a big mountain over there. No, again, you could literally stand right here and you'd be like this tall. You can literally just walk over there. This is probably 50 to 75 feet away. You can literally just walk over there and just check these things out. Okay, let's get into this. Um, and you're going to see like on the right hand side, like I said, there's some really interesting objects like right here. See how you get this opening kind of thing going on, right? Right over here. You can actually see a very faint line going up over and then back down and like this here. Now there's more things in here. Let's go to the left here. Check this out. Do you see these other faint lines right here? There's one going like this. And then it almost looks like this faint arched kind of thing. You'll see that a whole lot better in a minute. Now, check this out. Let's go ahead and just back out a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and hit the first stage of this. Okay. Boom. This, to me, I was just like blown away. Because what's in here is phenomenal. If you were to back out, again, like I said, you guys would be standing here. Your waist would be right around where that the deck of the rover is. Or at least pretty darn close. Stomach, waist, somewhere on there. So you'd literally be able to walk right over to this stuff and actually check it out. This piece right here. I'm going to do that in white, but it doesn't matter. Right now we're not in RGB mode, so this is the reason why it's doing that. But you can see these things that like somehow connected. You can see another faint line right here. Going like this. You guys see that? Right there, very faint. Now... Look at the other objects. This is what's really cool. When you look at this over here, you can see this line right here. It's very faint, but check it out. It's not going to be very straight, but let's let's do it like that. It's straighter than what I just drew, but regardless. Now let's go back to the original. You can still see that line going across. And then when you look at it here, you can still see that line right in here. Funny thing about it, these... Whatever these things are, you can see they're below and above it. There's the white line. See it right there. Look at these objects. They're actually there 
So above the line and below the line. Again, they give you this kind of false landscape. Now, when you see this, you can't help to say, okay, that's clearly that's intelligently made. Okay. Now let's go a little bit more because I want to bring out anything that's white and we're going to keep going with this until we can bring it all out. Okay. Now, I want you to also notice this right here. You can see what looks like right there. Something's going like this here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Kind of rounded, has that piece in the center, goes down like this. There's something, either some kind of weird oval or round piece. Okay, let's get into this. You can see it right here, right there. So bring out anything that's white and check this out. When I see stuff like this, I see structures. Some of them look like they're wrecked. Some look like it's like they're together. Now, clearly, I'm not going to see anything of, of a lot of detail because a lot of this has been like a haze put over it to make it look like it's one continuous landscape. And if you look at it again, you can see that. Look at the way they did this. Again, it looks very grainy, very low res. Everything's kind of like they put it over there so it looks like this kind of flowing landscape when clearly it's not that at all. And you can see this thing without even doing anything to this photo right here. I can see this thing plain as day. Without doing anything. This is the raw photo right here. Okay? So, with that being said, let's bring this out more. Now, okay? And you can see that pretty darn good. I can see sections of these things right here. Okay? This thing doing this. Kind of doing that. But you can see something right here. It almost looks like there's an opening at the bottom of this thing. It makes you wonder what these things could be. But whatever they are, clearly that doesn't look natural. Let's, let's circle the things of interest right here. Look at the actual squares and stuff in this area. Like here's a small one right here. Right there. And all of these little individual parts here, 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 all of these pieces here, is this straight line something, meaning something that connects all of these? I don't know what to make of it, but clearly they look structural to me or some kind of objects on the ground. That's all there is to it. And I can see what looks like this rectangular area right up in here. Going like this. Of course, it's not very straight. Okay. It's just everything about these things. They look like this thing's lined up, like there's something sitting here other than just normal ground, right? Just some of the things in here are just mind-blowing. To me, they're just, you can tell that these things are some sort of intelligently made objects. I can almost see what looks like a disc in here. You guys see this? right here and you can see what looks like a little design here going like this and then it's behind it goes behind this other centerpiece see that keep in mind we're also looking at manipulation right so they could have like squared out an area let's say they just went like, going like this and decided ah, okay now let's fill this in with texture here Right in here. We'll fill it in with texture. So you may be saying, oh, well, maybe that's a structure. It's hard to tell up there because you don't know what they're doing to these photos. But clearly there's other things in here. This looks like it's been taken apart here. You can see this piece right here. It looks like it's been battered and torn apart. So I don't know what this stuff is. Is it structures? Is it nothing more than just parts on the ground? Again, guys, I can go back and I can tell you right now. Let's say you're standing in front of the rover, okay? Let's back up. Okay, so your feet wouldn't be seen because they'd be below the deck, but your waist would probably be right around here, okay? And your upper torso up here, okay? And your head, okay? So you literally can walk over here, Walk down over here. I'm, get, I'm guessing, guys, 50 to 75 feet tops away. 
it's not very far. You know, they make these things look like mountains. So you go, oh, my God, this is going to be like miles away. And clearly it's not. It's stuff that's right there. Just from what I know from these photos, um, that's what I'm judging. It. It's just a complete guesstimate, but regardless, right? Again, a lot of you said, what happens if these Martians are small? Well, maybe they're all structures all lined up. Maybe it's equipment laying on the, on the uh, Martian surface. I don't know. It's pure speculation. We don't know what this stuff is. But to me, that doesn't look natural. To me, that looks like structures or parts or something intelligently made. And clearly you can see that. And again, look at the lines in the back. Okay. They did the best to watch it out. Now, keep an eye on this stuff on the upper left. And look at any of the lines you may see in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and jockey back and forth. These things are absolutely in the photo. Now, the thing that separates this fuzzy photo like this to this one, not only am I docketing it and bringing out anything that's white, I also put a little blur in this so we can actually zoom in without it breaking apart. Because I can show you right now, this is what it looks like. So you wouldn't be able to make head to tails of this regardless. So by putting a little blur in, you're basically puffing up the pixels it makes it less grainy let's put it that way okay but there you go again look at any of these these lines of your choice especially this big part on the bottom here the big white piece look at it carefully look at the lines they are a hundred percent there we're just bringing them out that's all we're doing guys bringing them out Okay. Guys, what are we looking at here? Again, pure speculation. We don't even know what these things are, but clearly they're intelligently made. Biggest question is, is it natural or is it intelligently made? If it's intelligently made, the other question is, why is it on Mars? It's as simple as that. We don't have to know what these things are to know the difference between intelligently made and natural, right? At least I don't believe so. That's my opinion. You, you guys might have a different opinion. Drop your comments and thoughts below. Please like and share and always throw the video a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated, guys. And guys, if you're new to the channel and you're liking what you see, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell on the right-hand side so you'll be notified of any new videos that come out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And watch out for the new videos coming out from the moon as well as more Mars. Those are coming up soon as well. Anyway, guys, have yourself a good one. Peace, and we'll see you in the next one.